Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be playing Inner Space. So this is a game you can get right now for free on the Epic Game Store on PC. It'll be free until next Thursday, so that's going to be March 5th, 2020, at which time they're going to give out another free game and this will be going back up to full price. But if you get it right now, you keep it forever, it's free, it's totally legit. So we're going to go ahead and make a new game. Start new adventure. Alright, let's start. Let's see what's going on here. Because I didn't really uh, get a total idea of what was going on. Uh, I just moved my mouse around. And it kind of did something there. I don't really know what I did. Wind created the inverse and keeps the worlds intact. The ancients built great networks to harness the energy called wind. Wind is a good energy. As we learned in Avatar, the last airbender. The ancients prospered, but this would not last. So there's something about demigods and ancient people. Demigods arose and drained the inverse. The world ended. Well, that's not good. It is said the ancients tried to escape the inverse, but failed in their last hour. Hmm. Again, not good. Now the world and its secrets await. Dot, dot, dot. Alright, let's go. Let's figure out what inner space is all about. Oh, uh, it's compiling some computer language. Okay. Cartographer. Cartographer. It's doing stuff. Is this a cartographer or a computer? Uh. Oh, I see. Up in the top left, it says cartographer. So I guess the cartographer is the name of the computer program? I'm not really sure. Good luck. Archeo? Archeolog... Archeologist? Hmm. Okay. Hold left ba mouse button down to drift, right mouse button to enter. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Pitch up or down. Do I press keys? F10. Just. Uh. Oh, okay. So it's keyboard controls are W A S A N D. Pitch up or down. Pitch up. So they're inverted controls with the W and D. Okay. Roll left or right. Okay. Roll right. Alright. Yaw. Left or right. Yaw. Oh, there's one yaw. Okay. So that's Q and E. Alright. We're learning stuff. We're learning here. Throttle up or down. Throttle. Pressing keys here just to see what happens. Hmm. Mouse, maybe? Nope. Throttle. Control, space. Okay, so space throttles up. Uh, shift throttles down. Okay. Throttle settings. Hold the left mouse button to drift. Keep the orb centered on the screen. Oh, okay, uh... Trying to do stuff here. We're trying, at least. Uh... It's a little confusing with the inverted controls. Keeping the orb centered on the screen. Alright, there we go. Drift settings recorded, awesome. Fly into the rock. 
Mm. I flew into a rock. Fly into the rock. Okay. Again, I flew into the rock. Uh, again? How many times am I supposed to fly into this rock? Three times, I guess. Break five rocks. One. Oop. Missed that one. Whoop. Oh, boy. This is a little difficult to control. Okay. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Whoop. Missed that one. Overpitched. There's two. Okay, I'm not very good at this. Where'd all the rocks go? Right, um, I'm trying. Really trying here. Whoop, overshot. Again, overshot. Alright. Getting the hang of it, kind of. Not really. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's break this rock. One more rock. Uno mas. That's Spanish for one more. I learned that from a guy who spoke Spanish. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Tap rice mouse button to enter drive mode. Okay, we're entering dive mode now. I dove into something. Exit the water. There was water this whole time? Where was the water? Left mountain to drift, left mouse button to drift, right mouse button to enter dive mode. I don't really understand why we need to go into the water, but okay. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Hmm. The unit shows no reaction to external stimuli. Despite having components for language comprehension, I'll try again. Cartographer, can you hear me? Well, I hear music. I'm guessing he wants to communicate with us, so yeah, let's say that it worked. Yes? Yes, it worked! Greetings, fellow life form. I'm the archaeologist, and, uh, and, oh my. Now that you've been activated, I don't quite know where to begin. Work. Where am I? Why am I here? I don't like to ask questions. I just like to do stuff. Alright, let's talk more discovery. It's time to get to work. Hopefully you don't skip your flight simulation. Because you're about to get a crash course in relic collection. So let's test those wings and collect it. Then bring it back to me to analyze. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, one last thing. For now, you should stick to the air. Your current airframe doesn't have the ability to deal with water quite yet. Good luck. Oh, okay. So I guess we're going to be flying in an environment, and that tutorial was just sort of a demo space for learning to fly stuff. Okay, this is making more sense now. Alright, so... I'm an airplane? Okay. Or I'm flying an airplane. Oh boy, this is uh, a little awkward to control. Collect relics by flying near them. Okay. Oh boy. 
I don't want to crash, but I'm probably going to crash a couple times. Um, where are these relics again? I'm guessing that's one over there. Okay. Relic acquired. Ancient battery. Yeah, let's pick that up. Let's hit the enter button on that and pick it up. Battery. This device houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses. Despite its age, it appears that none of this wind has been depleted. It continues as if never used. Plug it in. Yeah. This device houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses despite its age. Yeah, whatever. Remove. Okay. Uh, yeah, what, what's going on here? Plug it in. No? We want to... We want to keep it plugged in, right? Why is it only giving me the option to remove it if we want to keep it plugged in? Can I choose something else here? Oh, I have to rot. No, I don't rotate. I just plug it in, right? Uh. Okay. Okay, so rotating the thing did a thing. Okay, so the ancients were drawn to the living influence wind held over the inverse, bearing witness to its many phenomena. They resolved to pursue its mastery. Okay, so how do I... No, I don't want to remove it. I want to plug it in. And, yeah, do I hit escape here? Okay, I hit it. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't know I was supposed to hit escape, but that's fine. Return to the pillar to speak with the archaeologist and deliver the relic. Exit the pillar by pressing the mouse button. Like I did. So I'm getting a hang of the controls a little better. Nice job, send me the relics so I can analyze it. Wind needed, we need to deliver this. Great, just give me a moment to study it. Why don't you take this chance to practice your flying some more? This may take some time. I'll notify you when the analysis is complete. See you soon. Bye bye. Okay, talk, back, airframe colors, Ooh, what kind of colors we got, default, wind, we need more wind to get more colors, okay, deliverable relics, wind needed, let's go back, let's just fly around for a sec, let's see what this is, down here, is this a steamboat, is that steamboat Willard? William Nope. It's not Steamboat Willem. It's just Steamboat. Hmm, it's an interesting boat. Let's see. Oh boy, I'm gonna crash. I crashed. Alright, so... I'm supposed to just fly around. Oh, upgrade available. Turn to the archaeologist. Okay. Thought he said he needed a moment. That was shorter than just one moment. Oh my, this relic is no ordinary find. If my hypothesis is correct, it may allow us to explore far greater reaches than I first thought. Would you like to hear my theory? Sure. See, this relic is a large reservoir of wind, the main source of energy for the inverse. This device uses wind to activate ancient technology, for instance. 
it opened the door. Awesome. You can now interact with ancient technology. If it opened that door, what else can it activate? Beyond this cave lies the inverse. I spend my days exploring in silence, journeying through the abandoned structures, hoping to find anything the ancients may have left behind. By collecting and studying relics, I hope to record as many as I can, as much as I can about the inverse. This way, I can learn of its past and maintain its history. As with this room, the gates of the inverse have been shut for a long time, but you can open the way. What do you say, cartographer? Do you want to see what secrets the inverse and the ancients hold? Do you want to unravel the mystery of this place together? Let's go. Fantastic! By the way, you can access the relics you've collected via your airframe's digital menu. Take a look at it when you get a chance. Now let's depart. Bye. Am I supposed to do anything? Do I left? Okay, left click. I wasn't sure if it was like zooming in on the door. Uh. So I'm guessing this is the door. Oh, that wasn't very, very good. That was not good. Hmm. Oh, nice. This is a cool tunnel. Does tunnel stuff. Uh, this is supposedly the inverse up here. So let's straighten out. Oh boy, aeronautical navigation makes me a little dizzy sometimes. So what is this? Wow, nice landing. While you're here, is there anything you'd like to know more about? Is there anything else you'd like to know? Not really. How did you get here? Um, not much for the story right now. Let's find a way out of this cave. Bye. Okay. There we go. So I guess we're not quite in the inverse yet. We're more so just still in the cave right now. Whoop, I crashed. Whoop, I crashed. Well, I'm still crashing. But my plane is indestructible, so no problems there. Okay. I see another landing spot. I'm seeing things on the ceiling. Water on the ceiling. I guess I was upside down. Not really sure. Well, here we are, the mouth of the cave. Just fly on through that tunnel and... Oh, now this is a problem. The tunnel is blocked. Hey, see those ropes? Do you think you can cut them? Like with your wings? You should be able to cut them with your wings. You're a rugged looking creature. I dare say you could. If you're running low on space, try drifting around the walls to make tight turns. And the places I want to show you drifting will become handy. Now then fly okay let's fly you want to fly let's fly ah oh, yeah I totally messed that up okay turning turning all right so we have to cut this with our wings so there's one I'm hoping there's two and three awesome so, I think I'm just going to return to... No, I'm going to go down this tunnel, because I can. thought it might be easier to land, but it looks like it might just be easier to go down the tunnel. And if my training taught me anything, I'm just going to break through this rock. Oh yeah! So I'm guessing this is a part of the inverse. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. 
Dawn Vessel. Is that the name of this area or this chapter? Whoop. Didn't expect to go back to navigating so quickly. Dawn Vessel. Uh, where was that thing again? There it is. Okay. Oh, this is called a perch. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well... Kinda wanted to talk to the archaeologist. But... It's uh, not looking like I'm gonna talk to him right now. Just, uh, I'm hoping that this is the inverse, because it looks really cool and all that. And, hey, maybe, maybe this guy has something for us. There's a little circle there. Oop, missed it. Like I planned on doing. But I think this looks pretty cool. There's a lot of space to explore. There's these hieroglyphs on these panels. That looks pretty cool. Interesting. I see this sort of stuff. Looks like some sort of puzzle. Has to do with the wind. That's pretty cool. I saw those cords on the left. I'm definitely going to have to try to cut those. But this video is getting a little long. So... Oh, it did something. This video is getting a little long. I'm just going to talk to this guy and see what he says, and I'm going to end the video. So let's talk. You're not going to believe this, but with the right relics, I might be able to upgrade your airframe. Cart. Oh, that's my nickname. Cart. Thanks, guy. Uh, guessing you're the archaeologist? Ha, huh, did I just call you Cart? Sounds good on you, cartographer. Surely you can find the parts we need around here somewhere. Find those relics. Who knows what kind of upgrades we'll find. Hmm? Oh, what about cutting those ropes? I kinda had that in mind already, thank you. Last time you cut ropes, you discovered a secret passage. It couldn't hurt to try again. Maybe that will, you know, shake something loose. Anyway, keep at it. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, Ark. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Well, since I'm talking, and I kind of want to know about this place, I got some questions. A question for me. My, you're inquisitive. Seems we share some commonalities. So what do you want to know about? This place, there we go. My people have a story that's been handed down over time. The inverse was once shrouded in darkness, but here the earliest ancients found glimmers in the sea. So this is the inverse, awesome. Question answered. Now what is Dawn Vessel? Is that the chapter of this game, or is that something else? By taming these lights, the first massive light source was created, and the ancients illuminated an entire chamber. This chamber. Bright, warm, and life-sustaining, it changed the inverse and the ancients forever. Throughout their civilization, many came here to admire the first sun. I've always tried to learn its true nature, but it's still a mystery to me. While it's a nice tale, the lesson I take from it is that the ancients were ambitious, and that the ambition led to their many scientific breakthroughs. The ingenuities of the ancients never fails to surprise me. So much of what they created still stands, even today. So what do you want to know about? Hmm. Well, I guess that's the only question he's going to answer for me because I want to know what Dawn Vessel is. I'm guessing it's the chapter, like the, the segment of the game. 
So I'm just going to stop talking to him. I'm going to end this video. It's been about half an hour. And I like this game so far. It, look, it seems pretty fun. It's an exploration game. And you're flying around. There is a story to it. I'm hoping that it doesn't get dark and depressing about how the ancients did weird stuff with the wind, like some other games, but I like it so far. It's serene. It reminds me of games like Rhyme and Abzu, which is pretty cool. So, this has been a look at Inner Space. Right now it's free on the Epic Game Store on PC. That'll be going on until March 5th. And then on March 5th there'll be a new free game from Epic. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.